Hi everybody, this is Gail of September Gail here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome back those of you who've been with me these past four months maybe. Um, and if you just happen to chance by my channel, I hope you stick around. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, uh, just showing you a few of my uh, scarves that I've collected over the years. Um, I don't wear them um, often, but I do grab them up every now and then. Mainly I just stick them on my, on my bags. Or if I carry a tote, I'll put them on my tote just to, um, so my content's not showing. Uh, but anyhow, so we're going to get started and hope you enjoy. So the first scarf I got, I think I may have shown this one before. It's just this little cat. Looked like he would be uh, a duke or prince or something. Um, just I just thought it was cute. I have two of these. And I know I've shown this before. I'm not sure which video it was in, but I did show that one before. And that, and I have the other one. The other one still had the um, tag on it. And then another one. This is, I think I showed this one as well. I had this on a bag, um, one of my little bags I had. just has the little teacups. It doesn't have a um, tag on it, neither did the other one. But I just love the little colors and the, you know, not crazy about teapots and coffee cups, but just the design of the scarf I thought was really pretty and it goes well on, on uh, a bag. And then the next one I have, this one does have a tag on it and it says um, London. And this is, here it is. And I think this one is made by Brighton. I looked this up. Um, you know, Brighton makes the handbags and they also have jewelry. But I just thought this was really cute. Just the colors and the design of it. And it was made in Italy. 100% silk. I just thought that was pretty. And our scarves run 99 cents. I do have a couple that I paid up on, I'll let you know when I get there. And then this other little one. And maybe if I put my eyes on, I can see. Okay, and this one, 100% silk. Uh, it just says dry clean only. But I thought this was cute. Um, it has some I'm not sure what language that is. Looks like maybe French. But that is just a beautiful scarf. And I've worn that on. I have a, a red coach bag, you know, I usually wear it on. On here. On that one, rather. And then next, this one, I know I've shown this one before. If, if I didn't, I probably made a video and didn't post it, but I think I did show this one. Oops. Oops. Here we are. It just has the silhouette. Isn't that cute? And if you turn it around, it's, it's just facing the opposite direction. And someone cut the tag off of that one, so I couldn't tell you. Who made it but it's silk as well and then this scarf is uh, made by echo and it's 100% silk and it just has uh, the months of the year and I think it's just showing the flower for each month and I couldn't tell you anything about flowers. I know that's a rose. Uh, let me find September. July, August. Oh, here's September. Whatever this yellow flower is. But I just thought that was really pretty. And once again, just something I either throw, hang it on my sh uh, bag strap or I just drew literally just drop it in my totes 
so that my contents are not showing. And it's not that I go anywhere. To, the main place that I go is church, and I usually have my bag in the choir stand, so I just drop my scarf. This one is also, uh, this is Echo as well. And look at how cute this is. Just as the, if you know, this is what Echo looks like. And I know their items are sold in um, Macy's for sure. I'm not sure about Dillard's. But it just has the Christmas ornaments on it. And this is sort of like, uh, probably about a size 34, 34. But just quite colorful. And you could wear this. I would wear it if I was going to wear it around my neck. But, um... I get hot. I stay hot. So generally I'm not wearing anything around my neck unless it's cooler. Now like um, Daryl and I would, uh, over the years, we would go to the theater to see movies uh, every weekend. Just every weekend that we were seeing a movie. So I would take a scarf just to throw it around my shoulder. Okay, and here's another Echo. Now this is a vintage one. And you can see the difference in that. Okay. I didn't do my nails, so do not judge me. But isn't that cute? Whatever that looks like birds and I let's see. Yeah, that's what they're uh, maybe a woodpecker. If you look about right here, I'm not sure. I don't know anything about birds, so don't come at me. Um, but just a cute scarf. And um, I do have an orange sundress. I think I showed it in one of my earlier videos. And it has the deep pockets. So I just dropped it into my pocket. And uh, just as a, an accessory. Uh, this is another. This is, uh, there's a story behind this one. I guess. Apparently, I don't have this. It's not my story. But just look at that. So if I fold it this way, and it's the same on each side. They're the girls, look like they're partying. Um, yeah, like a karaoke night or something. One, two, four girlfriends, and they're just hanging out. I see a piano there or a keyboard. Yeah, the one little girl's dancing. She has ribbons and what have you. And it's the same thing on the other side. But that is just cute. And it's quite long. Maybe about 60 inches long. And I don't think this one doesn't have a tag on it either. No, no tag. No hallmarks. But just a really cute scarf. And I don't think this zip is more like a, a polyester or something. Rayon fabric. But I, I like things that are different and somewhat odd, and I've never been that tight um, to pick up um, items that everyone has. I remember being a kid, you know, and, and your parents would go to the stores uh, that everyone shopped at, and you're in church Easter morning and probably six out of ten girls all had the same dress on. I never liked that. So when I got older and when I had my girls, I would go to the oddest stores, excuse me. I would go to the oddest stores or thrift stores and, and my girls would wear the thrifted items to school, but who would know it? Isn't this cute? This is sort of like the British flag or something. I just saw the colors, grabbed it. And these scarves I've had 10, 15 years or so. so. But that was really cute. This is probably about 34, maybe by 12. 36 by 12, maybe. I'm just guessing at the measurements. And something, like I said, I would just drop in my bag. And my tote. Now these next three scarves, um, of course, they're not authentic, but the print is by Picasso. And one, one I found in Ohio, one I found in Michigan, and one I did buy in New York back in 2017. So that's a fairly new one. I'll show you when I get to it. But um, it has the Picasso print on it. Okay, where is it? I can't tell you what's up there. Oh, here it is. 
And there it says Picasso, and you can see this fella here. He just seems to be sitting at a table. And look at the brooch he's wearing. And I love this uh, striped tie. But look like he's sitting at the club, minding his own business or checking out the ladies. So, you know, uh, Picasso had something going on in his brain. He was obviously well talented. But his artwork was just, it was amazing. So, when I saw his scarf, now the one here in uh, my area here in Ohio, this it was 99 cents. Okay. The next, oh, this one. The next Picasso, this one came from uh, Michigan. It was $3.99. Look at the colors in that. Trying to find his name. Oh, here's it. It's right here. And I'm not sure if that's a male and a female. This yellow looks like it could be the female because of the length of the hair on the shoulder. And they just seems to be hugging there entwined some type of way. Like lovers. Distraught lovers because uh, he looks like he's thinking, oh, maybe I'll hang out with you for a while and then go someplace else. And... She's like, I don't know what she's thinking, but she's thinking something. <laughs> Anyhow, the tag was torn out of all of them, but it, at least it has the hallmark on it. And of course, you know, these are, I'm sure, not authentic um, scars. They're, uh, just his print. Okay, and then this one is the one I picked up in New York, and I paid $8.99. I uh, went with my girlfriend in 2000, uh, yeah, it was 17. And, of course, I had to make it to their thrift stores. So my girlfriend's uh, stepdaughter took us to the Salvation Army, and we walked, and we walked for miles and miles, honestly, to find the store. So I only picked up this one item, and it has some distress to it. But I get it anyhow. In fact, it's the same print. He's sitting at the table. It's just a different um, scarf here. Different color. And there's the Picasso. There. And I know I could probably wait and fold these, but I'm not because I want to get it done. <laughs> okay, and the next one I have here is a Diane von Furstenberg scarf. Now, I had two of these. One did not have the tag on it, but this one did. I mean, this one does. Um, uh, this one was like brand new when I picked it up. But look at the colors in that. And this could certainly be a shoulder wrap. The other one I wore on my head. Uh, once, but just really cute. And you know, Diane's items are really pricey. So, but for ninety nine cent, this is worth it. That's what I scarves run. And then next, I have a St. John forty um, fifth anniversary. It's the St. John, you know, they're popular for their knits. And they sell other things as well. But their women clothing are really pricey. That's it's just a basic scarf. This one uh, came from Michigan. Rain gave it to me. She picked it up. And then I was like, oh, St. John. So she says, shush, because they're going to know that it's a name brand and they're going to want to charge more. But she got it for a dollar. And then here's another... Obviously, not authentic uh, scarf. The LVs, which is supposed to be the Louis Vuitton, but it's not. 
but it's just cute. Now I had two of these. One I gave to my sister-in-law um, last summer. And uh, my daughter had given me her tote a few years back. And I didn't carry it that often because I don't like large bags. I think I said that before, but that was just really big. So, but um, we ended up trading off and she gave me the crossbody. But I would just throw this inside the tote just to cover, again, my contents. And then this is just the darling. It's not authentic. But this, if you can see the name, my goodness. Is it upside down? I'm trying to get it so you can see. There it is. Hermes. Of course, it's not real. But I saw it, and I did pay $12 for this. I mean, and how do, how do I know if it's authentic or not? And I just couldn't imagine this being in the thrift store. And, and, and like I said, why would they tear the tag out of it? But I like it. And I just it, picked it up because I didn't even mind paying the $12. It, was, it wasn't uh, half off either. But it was, I thought, why not? So when I find some, my cart could be full, you know, flowing over with items. And, but then once I see something that I like, I'll put the majority of the stuff back. Just say if I have $20 and I go in the store and I've, I have maybe 15 items, but then one item is $15, then I'll just put everything back and grab the $15 one. And there's another little scarf. I just grabbed it because of the polka dot. And it has the little shimmies on the end there, frayed. It's just a cute, colorful scarf. And then a lot of times, you know, you can tie your, oh, this one does have a name tag on it. It just says just design a scarf, and it has the number on it. It's made, um, all acetate made in Japan, so it's a definite vintage piece coming from Japan. And then another polka dot. It's the soft chiffon. Really cute. And another polka dot. Isn't that cute? Nothing to it, just keep hooking up. And let's see, do I have? I have a couple of more. Uh, the Chevron. Print, I think you guys saw before. It was thrifted as well for 99 cents. And this one is from the limited, all of our limited stores closed. This one, I think I showed you this one as well before. It's just a little fall print. It's definitely fall. It has the acorns, the corn, sweater, cocoa. Looks like a pumpkin umbrella. Just really cute. I like the color. And this is American Eagle. I see the AE on it. And let's see what else. 
that's it as far as my scarves and I'm going to uh, put a couple on these bags that I have here and then I'll come back okay I'm back first bag is just this coach that I thrifted a couple months back and I just threw that um, chevron black and white scarf on it and it does have a zipper but if it didn't I would just throw it down off in there like that and my contents would be hidden there. And the next bag I had, this is a um, Ralph Lauren bag. I've had this for years. <laughs> I tried selling it for years, but no one was interested. I saw on eBay somebody sold one for $389. But after it didn't sell, I just took it down and I just keep it in my closet. But look at that uh, sturdy leather. But anyhow, this is the scarf that I, I mean, you, I could put any color on it, but I just chose to put that one on here. It's such a manly bag, looking back, but it's about the size of a Speedy, yeah, 25 maybe. But yeah, that's how I like that scarf on that one. And this next one, I just put that little Brighton scarf on there. Just to dress it up. You know, I could even double the bow a little bit. It's nice and cute. That's what I do to most of my bags. And then my vintage coach. I just threw the um, ornament bag on it. And primarily because it's red and I easy. I wear this a couple times throughout December and then to January. But that's pretty much it. Just something it didn't this one didn't come with the tassels. So I just threw it. And even if it did have the tassels on it, I could just I would have put that on there just because it's something to do. It just makes it cute. And then I have this one. I'm just gonna throw this on here. You've seen this one before. So you can do a lot with it. And like I said, I generally don't wear them because I'm not in this heat anyhow. But it's stylish. You could do a lot with them. Put it on your wrist if you like to. And, uh, oh, and here's the bag of the day. I carry this bag all the time. I need to do a what's in my bag. You can see how stuffed it is. <laughs> I, I just love this bag. I'm going to stand up. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. That's just my favorite knockabout bag. So, thanks again for your time. Thanks for hanging out here with me. We're now in probably about into the 25th minute. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you're inspired just by the scarves alone. You could do so much with them, like I said. Um, and I was um, looking at Pinterest, and they have so many styles that they put on their hair. Um, and I do wear them on my head sometimes, if I know if I'm just sitting at my mom's house, which is uh, a, a lot of them I can use on there. And then I didn't show all of them, but the ones that I showed you I wouldn't wear on my head. I would just tie them on my bag or drop them in my bag um, but thanks for hanging out with me and stay safe encourage your family members to stay safe uh, if your state has ordered you to stay home stay home um, we don't know how long this is going to be we're just going to ride it out and trust that God is going to take care of us uh, no matter what and even though some uh, did not make it it's okay because if they knew the Lord then they're safe anyhow already so um, just trust and believe that he's going to take care of us all. And uh, I'll see you guys again. Bye.